I need somebody Help Not just anybody Help You know I need someone Help Oh, hello, and welcome to How To with Ryan Bennett. Today, we are going to be working on Stone Edging. Here are the only tools you'll need. Garden spade, rubber mallet, masonry chisel, protective eyewear, and gloves. Okay, the first thing we need to do is dig a trench all along the border so we can have a place to put the stones. We'll do that by going at least two to three inches below the turf. Let's get started. As I look up at the sky, my mind starts dripping, a tear drops my eye. My body temperature falls, I'm shaking and they breaking, trying to save the dough. Pumping on my chest and I'm screaming, I stop breathing, damn I see demons. Dear God, I wonder can you save me? I can't die, my boo boo's about to have my baby. I think it's okay, now that we've got the depth we want, we're just going to do it all along the edge. Why'd you stop? I'm tired. Boo, we're losing daylight. It's hot. Oh, come on. Don't act like you're four. You act like four. Okay, now we got the last part out. Uh, it took me a while, but I got it done. We're going to go ahead and flatten everything out and get it all even. Okay, to even it out, we're just going to use the bottom side of a hoe. You'll also need a hoe. Basically, we're just going to create an even line. Okay, now that I got it all flattened out, we're just going to spray a little uh, grass killer here, and then we'll get started with the next step. Let's go. You better ask somebody. Okay, for this part we're going to use paver sand. The how-to video that I saw didn't talk about this, so I'm just going to guess. Um, the hardware store guy made me get it. So first let's open it up. Not too big of a hole. That'll do it. And now we'll just pour it in, even. Okay, you're gonna wanna cut a little bit bigger of a hole. Okay, now that we've got the sand uh, smoothed out, we're gonna come down here and take a look, see if this is the height you want. And I'm going about two inches 
underneath the sod here on the first one. Now, if you're doing a stagger effect like I want, you're going to have a gap here. So we want this one to be even. So what we'll have to do is cut the bottom stone, have that there, so it'll be covered up. And let me show you how to cut. You'll need your masonry chisel and your mallet. You're just going to make a little score. Sledgehammer works better. You're also going to need a hammer. Okay, this is where you're going to use your level. You're also going to need a level. Make sure we got everything set right. And then you can use your rubber mallet to even out the spots that you need to. Okay, and our last stone is the one we cut for the beginning, so it all works out. Um, we're just going to let it sit here overnight, uh, make sure it all settles just fine, and make any kind of adjustments we need to make in the morning. And that's how you uh, stone edge a flower bed. Thanks for watching. <laughs>